hello uh, i hope you are doing fine so uh, in this video i'm going to show you how to uh, how to simulate arduino uh, arduino uno using tinkercad and uh, okay so you can access the tinkercad using uh, your browser preferably chrome and this is the website that you can use so basically i'm going to do a, just a basic simulation of uh, an led uh, Powered by the Arduino Arduino Pi volts pin. So on this right section of the of this tab, uh, there are these comp components. So you can choose the basic components or all components. So for me, I chose uh, basic first, basic, and then so for us to to start, we made a a, a breadboard. So just click and drag. I breadboard sorry uh, okay let me undo so this is the breadboard you can drag and then after that now we need Arduino Uno here it is we drag it here and then we also need the LED let's use like maybe let's use four LEDs one that one can be red Another one can be uh, put green, and then another one uh, can be uh, orange. No, I can use uh, blue, and another one can be uh, uh, white. Yes, white is okay. And so, okay, uh, for us to power an Arduino, uh, for us to power an LED. Uh, we have to use a, a, a resistor a resistor to, to regulate okay to control the amount of, of current uh, because if you just connect it directly it can uh, blow so mostly we can use this uh, these are a one kilo ohm resistor so uh, okay let's power the board so if you look at this breadboard uh, the two outermost sections they are mostly for powering so they run uh, across from this end to this end negative positive and negative and also positive and negative but the the part the the section in the middle are uh, okay they run also uh, let's say vertically or across and but now but now they they don't run from end to end they there's this section that separates each section each part so this one th for example this part this row runs from this end to this end and then uh, also this one just as you can see the highlighting the green highlight so they are not connected uh, as the the outermost part but they are connected uh, on the uh, across like that so okay let's now power the so we use for uh, five volts per supply five volts per supply from arduino so we connect to the to this line for the and then we connect the ground also the ground goes all the way to that section that's okay and then uh, okay uh, we can change the color of this to red and then you can place this uh, okay sister and then you can uh, okay, and rotate it okay and then since since this is a positive power you can, you can place it there and then these are uh, okay these leds you can place some you can place here then another one you can place this so uh the led has two terminals there's the anode and the cathode anode is the positive which is normally the longer side and the cathode is the shorter side is the negative so just okay, 
I just observe the way I'll connect them. So the positive side will go towards the towards the resistor and then the negative side will go to the ground. So I want to connect this these LEDs in uh, uh I'll connect them in 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 parallel. So for the for the ground con can push there. Uh, this is the ground. This is the ground. Then we can make it black. Because the the ground. Or maybe we can can just connect it from this end since it is uh, continuous. So also this this ground. So since this one is uh, the same, we can also connect here. Remember we are connecting connecting it in parallel. So another ground here. We can take this ground here. And then after that now we go to the positive. The positive we do the red. So from here we can we can place this one to the anode. And then at the same time you can also place it here. Maybe that's okay. And then uh, for this one, you can, uh, you can also uh, this one you connect together with this one. And then this one and this one. Okay, here and here. So. So the the negative part, the the cathode, they are, they are all connected together, and the the positive side, the anode, we go through the resistor, and then to now to the anode of the LED. And then after that, now we can do the simulation. Here you can start simulation and see what happens. So it's working. So our Arduino Uno is working uh, as expected. So uh, this is not a definite sch uh, schematic of how we can connect it. You can come up with your own design of how you can uh, utilize this breadboard. And you can see the LED, the N-bit LED in the Arduino is really working also. And it's also producing the five volts used to power these, uh, these, uh, these LEDs. And so we can also stop. So in the next video, uh, I'm going to show you how to do uh, some simulation uh, using, uh, okay, sorry, by, uh, I'll show you how to program this Arduino and see how you can observe the output. You can use so many things, so many uh, actuators, so we can use uh, the motors, also we can use some sensors like the LDR, uh, light, uh, these are the uh, light dependent resistor. And then you can use also the, the buzzer. Okay, then these are the sensors. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you.